What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart in Oklahoma City. Let's jump into this walk around and see what we find. So as most of you should know by now, if you're regular on the channel here, I just kind of wander around the yards and see what we see. If I find something interesting, I go jump on it and take a look at it for you guys. And if not, then there wouldn't be a video. So the fact that you're watching means we should find something interesting out here today. If you are new to the channel, my name is Randy. I own Auto Auction Rebuilds on YouTube and AAR Auto Sales LLC in Byers, Oklahoma. A very small, maybe 2018 cars, something like that. It's a wholesale dealership, so I do not sell to the public. Some of the cars though, I buy in my own name. And when I do that, that means that occasionally, very, very rarely, it almost never happens, but very rarely, I can sell those cars to the public so long as I'm outside of the state of Oklahoma. Now, with that out of the way, here we are. This, it's interesting. I don't know if you guys have seen the lug nuts on this yet, but they are, they're pretty insane. Um, look at those suckers, man. Good Lord. They are niche wheels. They've got Bridgestone Potenza 5005s. Yeah, those are, those are, they look dangerous. I'm sorry. They look dangerous. I've seen some of these cars, I guess it's down like Dallas or whatever, Houston. I've seen some of these cars on YouTube where they got these wheels. It's, it's like old Cadillacs and Buicks and stuff, but they got these wheels that come out, I'm, I'm serious, like to here. And they're like whipping around the roads. They shut the roads down. They try to hit each other and stop traffic. And I don't know what they're doing down there. I think they call it swanging or something. Just a swanging. I think that meant something different uh, in the country song. But yeah, it's, it, I think it's called swanging or something. I don't understand it. I don't get some of the dumb stuff that people out here doing these days. Makes no sense to me. But those lug nuts, they kind of remind me of that almost this car is toast man like this is this is done you got a lot of carbon fiber maybe or is it just, it's just fiberglass i think i don't think that's real carbon fiber no i don't know you guys tell me i don't know what carbon fiber looks like underneath i mean this to me it's definitely got a lot of fibers in it but this looks more like maybe it is maybe this is real carbon fiber it looks more like fiberglass, but yeah, maybe this is all real carbon. If so, somebody spent a little bit of money. Obviously, this is not. That's a that's a wrap on the roof. Somebody got sideways in this thing, and they they rolled and rolled and rolled. You got carbon fiber overlays on the hood vents. Yeah, because of all the the fake on here, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's not that's not real carbon fiber. Oh well, that door doesn't open. Not to worry, the fender's totally smashed and so is the door, so I'm not I'm not doing any damage, but I'm not gonna try to open it any further. And I can't get in this way. Can we see inside at all? No? Maybe? Not really. Can we get in here? I just wanna see what the interior looks like, man. Hold on, guys, I'm gonna drop you down in there. You guys could tell me what she looks like on the inside because again, this is another one of those cars that I simply can't see in. Boy, what a wreck. Well, right behind the Mustang is this thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's different. It's a Kia Optima. This is gonna be the SX because it is the turbo. Um, I wonder if these two cars wrecked together. You, you think it's possible that they were they were racing or something? I don't know, probably not. I'm, I'm just throwing guesses out there, but here you've got these, uh, I don't even know what kind of wheels these are, guys. So, so this, so this, I, I, I don't know. But again, you got these giant penetrating <laughs> lug nuts. I, I don't know what the point is of those, but okay. All right, and then you got these tires. These tires that obviously don't fit, and they were stretched. They've been stretched out to fit. Uh, a wheel that they were never designed to fit. So, you know, very safe. Of course, you've got some Star Wars stuff going on. Uh, little Yoda, baby Yoda. You've got a TIE fighter. You've got an AT, at I shouldn't know this stuff, but I do. The Empire doesn't care about your stick figure family. 
okay, as a nerd myself, I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. I like that. Then we have uh, Night Tuned. You've got some Japanese letters. I don't know what any of that means. Let's take a look over here. Of course, SX. It's the turbo uh, direct injection. You've got a Stormtrooper. This is... This is something. I had one of these back in the day. Mine was a... I believe it was a 2013. And I got it when it was two years old. Uh, so I would have had it in right around 2015. Mine was a black SX Turbo. Had a big glass roof. It was a really quick car for what it is okay obviously for what it is pretty quick car it was something like 300 horsepower from was it a two point i can't remember a 2.4 oh yeah that's that's not gonna i was hoping to look under there and that's not gonna happen but yeah anyway it was something like a 2.4 liter or something we've got tdi tuning select mode and then there's your obd diagnostic port right there very interesting yeah, i don't know what that i don't know what that is but i guess one through seven man one fuel efficient seven is like get it they must have the sucker turned up to seven is my guess they, <laughs> this sucker was on seven stormtrooper this is the name of the car obviously unforgiven I actually really like that. You know, the more I see this car, the more I look at it, even though it's got some crazy things going on, I kind of respect it. I do. I really do because I love Star Wars. I think all that's really cool. Um, the tires and wheels, nah. But Stormtrooper, I think it is a, it's an appropriate name. Gloss black on white. It works. I like it. I like it. I don't care what you guys think. I know you guys are laughing at me right now. I don't care. I don't care at all. This is This is nice. I like this little car. Somebody... I think tried to dye the seats or something. Those are red. And that's red, but somebody painted it with brown. All right. Yeah. Huh. wonder if somebody got a ticket for whatever happened in this car. I don't know. Regardless, though, I still like these cars. And I think this is a pretty cool one. If anybody knows what that little tuner thing on, on there is and how it works, definitely comment below. I've never seen one before. I wonder what kind of horsepower it brings this car up to. Now, this one right here, obviously, this is not something I'd be interested in. This one is done. This is, it's a wrap for this one. But I wanted to show it to you for a reason because not everybody gets to see something like this. This is a tornado car. And you're probably wondering, how could you know that it's a tornado car? Anything could have happened to it. Well, let's just walk around real quick. And if you see anything that would make you think this car was in a tornado, do me a favor and drop a comment below and point it out for everybody else. All right? Have you seen it yet? Because if you haven't, you're probably not going to. All right. Now I'm going to start showing you the details and why this is 100% a tornado car. For those of you that don't know, Oklahoma had a new record set for tornadoes in February. We had a lot of tornadoes just the other day. One went right over my house. Uh, we were outside. The sirens were going off. The lights were flickering on and off. We had the child and the dog, obviously, in the storm shelter, which is in my garage. It's easy to get to. They were safe and secure, but my fiance and I, we kind of like to watch tornadoes. I've lived in Oklahoma my whole life. I've been through three F5 tornadoes out here and I've survived all of them. So with that said, I enjoy looking at storms and we were watching the rain switch directions and spin. It was, if you've never seen it, you just wouldn't understand. And the sound a tornado makes is something that you will never forget and you know when it's coming. It was a phenomenal thing to watch, but this, unfortunately, is the aftermath of that beauty and that power. People get hurt, property gets damaged. It's just part of living in Oklahoma. Now, if you're seeing all this crap all over the car and you're wondering, what, what is all of that? It looks like somebody threw toilet paper at it or, or spit wads all over this car. Well, this is insulation. I probably shouldn't be touching it. It's probably fiberglass, so that's great. Anyway, this is all insulation from a home. Insulation that's in the roof, insulation that's in the walls, and if you need more evidence, well, there are roofing shingles stuck in the front of this car. 
So this tells you how bad that tornado was. It took, I don't know why I'm, put, why am I putting that back? <laughs> I'm sure the new owner doesn't, doesn't care if it has shingles with it or not, but this gives you an idea of how bad this storm was. Maybe this car was parked in the garage. Maybe it was parked outside. It's hard to tell, but it got shingles thrown at it. Obviously debris from the houses was thrown at the car, collapsed the roof, did some pretty gnarly damage to the roof there. Um, there's probably going to be a little bit of damage to the interior from all of that glass. Same thing over here. You got lots of insulation just blown all over this car. This side window is destroyed. This window is destroyed. When I say destroyed, this one is cracked everywhere. This one is blown out. This one is blown out. Luckily, it still has the back window. A little less damage back here. Not nearly as much over here either, but still a lot of that insulation just sprayed all over this. And here's something crazy. This is what tornadoes do. This window is still intact. It is deeply scratched. I don't know if that comes out on video or not. Deeply scratched all over. You know what those scratches are from? That's a shingle to a roof. The tornado managed to blow it deep inside. Look at this one. Yeah. Tornadoes are crazy like that. I have seen where a tornado has, has taken a stick and blown it through an entire tree. One stick through the center of an entire tree, in one side and out the other, completely impaled it, when the tree is bigger and stronger than the stick that impaled it. Crazy stuff, guys. Anyway, if you hadn't had a chance to see a tornado vehicle before, which if you've watched this channel, you've seen them before and you will see them again, here it is. We'll take a quick peek at the interior. That is a boy. It's a lot of glass, man. That is a lot of glass. It is everywhere. This was a very nice Honda Pilot before the tornado. All right, let me walk around and see if we can find anything else. All right, guys, here's one of those new Hyundais, the inline. And people give Hyundai and Kia a lot of flack. They really do. They joke about them being budget cars and whatever. Well, you know, who cares, man? You know, if you can afford something nicer than a Hyundai or a Kia, good for you. Count your blessings. But there's no reason to make fun of people for trying to have something nice. You know, there's nothing wrong with Hyundais and Kias. I've had tons of them in the past. And I'll be completely honest with you, I've got no issue driving one today. None. None at all. I wouldn't be embarrassed to drive something like this in the slightest. I think it's really cool that Hyundai and Kia have come out with this in line where they're trying to make their i mean let's be real they are budget oriented cars okay i'm not going to sugarcoat it it's it's a budget car but they're going a little bit further with them and they're making them look a lot more aggressive they're giving them extra power they're making them more fun you spend a little bit of extra money and you get a little bit more car than you would have had before this one's obviously trashed i'm gonna i don't know if i can move this brick hold on oh jeez. There we go. Let's take a look at the interior here. I think it's a fun looking car. You got the really light blue seat belts. You got the stripe right down the middle there. You've got your little performance mode button. This is nice. 24,000 miles. Okay, it's nice. Not back here, but all of this is actually pretty nice. Let's see if it runs. It does. That's surprising with as damaged as the back end is. She started right up too. I like this little thing. Low tire pressure. I'd say so. We're going to go ahead and shut it off. I'm not going to keep it running or anything with all that damage back there. But Let's see what she's working with under the hood here. I assume it's a little... A little turbocharged it yeah of course of course a little turbocharged engine what size is she blah 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 2.0 liter not too shabby not too shabby at all i like it guys comment below what do you guys think of the new inlines all right let's continue on our way and see what else we can find boy there's a that truck is smashed up wow yeah I told you guys, I usually don't show this stuff because usually 
I show you one car at a time and I don't go through the process of walking around to find them. But so, whoa, wow. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Uh, the, this is a perfect example of, uh, of what I'm talking about. It, right here. The, 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 uh, yeah. That's, that's a perfect example of, of what I was, was talking about, man. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy walking around with me and seeing what we find. Um, just do me a favor, comment below if that's what you, if that's what you want. If you guys want more of this, I'll work on doing more of it. I just like to find the cars, share the content in the video instead of wandering around and basically rambling to you guys. I just the entire time but you guys seem to like it and as long as you're enjoying it we'll continue doing it just please i ask well i do ask one thing if you see a mangled up car on the channel you know like the one we just looked at please be respectful you know what i mean because obviously that was that was a traumatic experience for the people involved and, and family members and everything so just please keep that kind of stuff respectful if you could i'd truly appreciate it of course an audi little two liter q5 i like these she's pretty gnarly in the back inside oh, pretty nice what is that i don't know what that is huh all right well that's something i thought this one might be intact and i really was gonna take a peek at it but obviously I shouldn't have to say it, but most of these cars are salvaged. There are not all of them. Not all of them are salvaged. But you could look around and see for yourself. Most of the cars out here are absolutely salvaged vehicles. All right. So finding decent ones that are not salvaged takes a lot of time. It takes, you know, probably four hours to five, depending on how far I'm walking. Today I'm walking a little extra, going a little further for you guys. This is an area I'm usually not in. Um, Oh, I was hoping she that's a 300 M. I haven't seen one of these in a long time Dang, I was hoping that one was all right Anyway, we're going a little bit deeper than we normally go. So I'll probably spend somewhere between four and five hours out here today Going through cars and I can't film all of that or the videos would be ungodly long and nobody would watch them. So uh, I guess what I'm gonna do is instead of just walking because I'm not really seeing anything that stands out to me right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and just stop filming and we'll come back. I'm going to go to a different part of the yard and we'll see if maybe we can find something a little more interesting. All right, so this one might not stand out to a lot of you, but there's just something about it. I saw it and I kind of loved it. It's an ML350 and it's got a little bit of damage. We'll take a look at it, but nothing too serious. This is an 08. I don't know what the miles are on it. It doesn't say, but it's got beautiful Yokohama tires. We have YK740 GTXs. Here's the damage, all right? The tailgate has got some damage. Cosmetic, though. I mean, really, it doesn't look like anything serious. In fact, it's even closed. So it looks like you need to replace the, the tailgate. Now, they've got it marked that there's damage here. I don't know if you can see this on camera. It's a tiny dent. The tiniest ding. And that's it. Uh, they've got all of this marked too. Um, all of these curves, it was built this way. So it took a hit and it kind of bent in some of this aluminum. You can see some of it is, some of these tabs here are further in than others. And that's it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's literally it. There's some scrapes and here's the, uh, here's the actual frame rails. Uh, they're intact. They're in good shape, no problem. Everything underneath, the pans, all, all the little, uh, the exhaust and the heat shields, everything's good, everything's lined up. This needs a hatch, guys. It needs a hatch and it needs a bumper. It's got a scrape right here in the paint, a, a scrape. Okay. Um, and then I think there was one other scrape that they marked on the front, on the bumper here. Let's see, yes. It's got a scrape right there. And if you're really picky, 
the grill took a little bit of damage there as well. All right. Um, so you might want to get a new grill for it. That's, dang it. I try to put everything back, you know. There we go. There we go. So there you have it. There's there's your damage. And, and these are some of the great deals that you can find when you really get out here and start looking around. This thing is in really good condition. It did blow the bags. It's got those deployable headrests. So you need to replace the headrest on this side. Thankfully, the one on that side is not blown. Pre-tensioners, yep. You're gonna need a pre-tensioner there. Boy, they've torn this apart, haven't they? And they did not include the parts that they took apart. All right, well, you know what you're gonna need to do? You're gonna need to hit a pull-apart yard, one of those LKQ salvage yard things where you can pull your own parts. Go out there, get yourself the hatch, get yourself the carpeting and stuff that goes in the back that's missing here, a couple seat belts, or send them off to myairbags.com. Not sponsored, just saying they're a great company. Uh, they do good work, so send them off. Get your pretensioners rebuilt. I'm sure this one is blown as well. It's, are you serious? This one's not. <laughs> well, there you have it, right? That's how it goes sometimes. Let's see what the mileage is on this thing. She's obviously got the keys. I bet she runs like a top. SRS malfunction, front left service required. Yeah, I would say so. Check engine light is on. Airbag light is on, obviously. The TPMS sensor light is on as well. That's it, it runs like a top. She does, she runs great. Brakes feel good. Steering feels good. Let's put it in gear. Forward. Reverse. Park. Turn on the AC. Let's see if uh, see if we've got cold air, and then we'll pop the hood. I mean, this this one's a no-brainer, guys. This one's a no-brainer. Easy fix. Important window works, and the less important window also works. 212,000 miles. What? No way, man. Hold on. Let's clear all that out. Where's the mile? Wow. Yeah. Uh, 212,504. Really? Really? Uh, the AC does not... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. It's very slow, but there she goes. She's cold now. Okay. Yeah, AC works. Well, no kidding. Let's pop the hood real quick. Oops. What did I do? I hit the uh, I hit the windshield wipers there, and well, they turned on, but they didn't turn themselves back off. Huh, how about that? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm hitting the wrong ones. Which one's for the front and that's turn signal. That's the back wiper. I don't know guys, I don't know. I'm at a loss here. Either way. Let's pop the hood. Listen to that. It's got a relatively new alternator. That's nice and shiny. Uh, what else looks shiny down there? Air conditioning, the compressor's just going to town, no issue. Pulleys are nice and quiet. Oh yeah, man. Oh, the windshield wiper started working again. <laughs> Typical Mercedes, close the hood and the windshield wipers start working again. Well, there you go. This one is going to need a little bit of work. I don't think it's anything too crazy. I don't think it's anything too expensive. And because it's got 212,000 miles on the odometer, I can pretty much guarantee you that this is going to go cheap. Somebody's probably just going to buy this for parts. 
So I don't think this is gonna go for a lot of money. Because of that, I'm gonna put this one on my watch list. Next on my list is a car that I've kinda always had a thing for. I just never said much about it. And it's one of those cars, I think some people love them and some people hate them. There's not much in between on these cars. This is, what is a 95 BMW 318Ti. Obviously she's leaning a little bit because she's got some damage to the other side and she's sitting in a ditch. But here it is, the little 318Ti, the little hatchback. I love this little car. And the damage, even though it could be a lot of work if you were gonna replace this entire quarter panel, I, I sincerely believe, I believe that somebody could fix this. I do. It wouldn't be perfect, but it'd be good enough. It's a 95. It's not a, it's not an expensive car. So you wouldn't want to spend all the money to, you know, re replace the entire quarter panel on this, but this could be pulled out, straightened out as best you can, level out the best it can and filled and painted. And it would look pretty decent. That wheel is trash. There might be suspension damage down there. So that's something to keep in mind. A little bit of damage over here as well. This wheel, yeah, very, trash still holding air though i mean look look at the separation there that's that's pretty bad obviously it's safe to say there's suspension damage here the wheel is all the way back into the fender liner it's it's almost getting into the a pillar there but it's not into the a pillar so that's fine a little bit of damage here again could be pulled out and touched up and fixed the front bumper is trash so hang that up this light is trashed replace that as well i'm wondering if it runs because it was obviously drug in and it doesn't say anything about whether it runs or not. These wheels are straight. There is suspension damage to the other side. This car has got some scratches, scrapes, and scuffs all over it anyway. So this is a perfect candidate to repair that other side, repair this little bit of bubbling rust that somebody put some rust preventative on, and repaint the whole car. Just shoot the whole car. Those tires look hideous. Uh, the wheels, I'm not... I'm not a fan of those wheels either. So you got to replace two of them. Might as well grab yourself a whole set. Uh, get you some new wheels for this thing. This could be a decent car again. It really could. Curious to see what's under the hood. Look at this door card. Look at all the details in there. Same thing with the seat. Lots of details in the seat there, guys. You just got to look for it. The seat here could be touched up. You could put a little bit of dye on it, make it look a lot better. Obviously, it is a manual transmission. It's got a button here. I don't know what that goes to. Interesting. Maybe it's NOS. You got yourself a little dual Bluetooth media player there. I don't think she has power, but we're about to find out. We're going to pop the hood. We're going to take a closer look at this one. Because this, this is one I would buy. She's dead. Shifter. There's a little slop. It's not awful, guys. It probably looks worse than it is. No, there's not a lot of slop. Shifter is decent. Airbags are not deployed. I don't think this car came with pretensioners uh, that lock up permanently in the event of an accident. So the seat belts, seat belts are fine. Some trim came off. Headliners coming down a little bit. The sunroof. Somebody has taped this up there before, which looks really nasty. All right, let's pop the hood. Ooh. Let's take a peek. I'm wondering what Mako would charge to just do all the body work, handle all the body work. I can get and replace the bumper, the wheels, the light, all that stuff. Have Mako do the body work and have them do the paint job. I think this thing could look pretty dadgum decent. Great. Where is... There it is. Oh, there she is. Look at that little thing. Oh, she's got miles on her, too. Boy, does she have miles on her. Uh, well, that might change my mind a little bit. <laughs> I was hoping maybe she didn't have a ton of miles on her. She does. She does. You can see there's a lot of, a lot of oil down there. Uh, valve cover's obviously been leaking for a long time. Not hard to change, just somebody didn't want to do it, I guess. Looks like the alternator is newer. It's definitely cleaner, shinier than the rest of the car is. Air conditioning belt needs to be replaced. 
overall though not bad again it's not a car that many people are interested in it's not a high performance bmw it's not something super crazy it's just something that for whatever reason i like we got the booster pack on there it should be doing something inside the car at this point you know another interesting thing about this car is there's no hail damage and that is that is pretty rare in oklahoma to find something this old especially from 95 guys uh, 209,000 miles whoa whoa that's that's you know if you know you know you got comment below if you know where that's from i'll do it one more time whoa yeah all right <laughs> joey yeah <laughs> Well, she runs like top. She sure does. Yeah, definitely some, some steering damage. We do have an airbag light that's on. Chances are that's been on for a long time. 209,000 miles. That's the only light on the dash is the airbag light. Look at that. Air conditioning. What do you think the chances are at the AC works? I'm thinking it may actually work, guys. Let's turn it on vent. Come on. There we go. Vent. And we'll find out in just a minute. I think I heard the compressor come on. You got your head headlights right here. Who remembers headlight switches like this, right? Old school, man. I like this Beamer. Important window works. Less important window works. A little slow but it works you got the books still in the glove box very nice the clutch feels good brakes feel good i normally check the steering but as you guys know there's some problems up there so the steering does not feel good ac ice cold there it is oh yeah it feels nice let's it's a hot day today guys what is it it's like 80 degrees 78 degrees 78 degrees today that is insane Let's see if it goes into gear. Yeah, it does. Take off the e-brake. Yep, she goes into gear. Reverse. Uh, reverse is all the way over. Normally there's like a, that's first. There's reverse. There it is right there. It's got its gears. I still wanna know what that light is for though. Yeah, I don't know. All right, guys. Well, she seems to be running fine. It sounds good. What do you guys think? Should I bid on this? I kind of want it. I really do. I, I, I kind of want this car. All right, I got one more for you. I'm going to show you a perfect example of another car that is totaled, but is a super easy fix, assuming nothing else is wrong with it. We have a 2014 Chevrolet Impala. That's right. Red, my color. It's got a flat tire. That's okay. I think it needs tires all around anyway. I'm gonna walk around it real quick. You guys just take a quick look and you tell me if you see anything crazy that would be too difficult or too expensive to repair or replace to make this car roadworthy again. All right, now that we've walked around, comment below if you saw anything that stuck out to you as too much to bother with. Now, we'll start with front tire bald for that matter all the tires are dry rot and bald so they're done next you've got a dent here do you care about it for the money probably not you've got a much bigger dent here this is probably what totaled it it's not just the dent but down here there's some creasing from the dent and there's definitely some creasing going on in here now there's a couple things you can do here number one the car has got a lot of dings and chips and scrapes on it you could go inside and you could pop this out as best you can and it would look fine. It wouldn't look perfect, but it, it would look fine. You could take this door panel off, pop that out and it'd look all right. Next, you, oh, oh my God. What the, f what is that? Oh no, man, it's the last car, come on. Don't do that, I gotta open these doors. This, I, it smells like something is dead in there and I'm not kidding. I, I'm, I'm not joking, this isn't, Let's get people laughing on YouTube. Something, something is dead in here. Something's dead in there. There are dead flies 
covering the seats. I can't get in there right now. I can't do it. I've been in some nasty, nasty cars and I've been able to, I can't do that. I can't do that. That is death. That is the smell of death. I can't do that. <clears throat> oh, wow. Wow. Uh, damn it. This was the perfect car too. This was the perfect car. There are dead flies covering everything in here. The seats, the package tray, dead flies. Oh, wow. No, man. What is going, what is going on in here? Mm. No. What happened? <clears throat> mm. All right. I'll, I'll, I don't know if I can do this car. We'll get to that in, in a second. I was talking about all four tires need to be replaced. <sighs> Whatever happened in there, guys. I don't know. That could be it alone. A little bit of scraping back here. Again, it's got little dings and scrapes all over it. But what I was trying to say is you could pop this door panel off. You could go in there and pop it out and it would look okay. Otherwise, go get you the same color door from a salvage yard. Oh my god. Oh my God. <clears throat> I'm going to get through this. I've never met a car that I couldn't get through. It's not going to start today. Uh, oh, wow. <coughs> uh, I might not be able to do it. The wind is blowing it all this way, man. You got a busted tail like... Got a busted tail light. <clears throat> Suck it up, buttercup. All right, let's pop the hood. <sighs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't think I can do this one, guys. I don't think I can. <clears throat> anyway. <coughs> Come on, man. It's not... It's not the body damage you're going to have to worry about on this one. Something happened in this car. Uh, I don't see anything that stands out at me. But something happened in this car. You don't get that amount of flies. Oh, my God. Come on, cut me some slack, man. We're gonna do it this time. All right, deep breaths. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. All right, so let's pop the hood. There is dead flies everywhere. You guys see these? These, look, look over here at this seat. Those are wads of flies, dead flies everywhere. There is dead flies all over the place. How do you how do you get how do you get flies like that everywhere? How? <coughs> how do you do that? How do you do that? Uh. Okay, I'm gonna try to show you guys some more of the interior. <coughs> Dead flies again, everywhere, just everywhere, packaged straight. <coughs> I can't do this car, guys. <coughs> I tried, I really tried, I can't do it. I can't do it, <coughs> I cannot do this. I don't know. I don't know what happened with this car. My guess is it's in the trunk. That's uh, <clears throat> that's my guess. That's my guess. 
Uh, I didn't look through the car, but I didn't see anything in the car that would make me think that <coughs> something was dead in there or that there was rotting meat in there. <clears throat> but I could smell it. Uh, for several years of my life, <coughs> I grew up <coughs> on a ranch, farm, whatever you want to call it. We raised animals. And sometimes animals died. We had we had so many animals, guys. It's hard to even keep track of them all. But when one had died and something hadn't drug it off to eat it, and it lay rotting, eventually you come across this smell, this very smell. You'd be walking through the pasture, checking the fence line, whatever, digging fence post holes. You you just eventually you would smell it. You would smell this, and it would be coming right at you know the wind just carried it straight to your nostrils. You could follow the smell back, find out exactly what it was. And that is this car. That is this car. Uh, so, I'm going to leave you. <clears throat> this is the last car of the video. Now I'm going to have to take a break and, and cool off for a minute. Uh, this was going to be a perfect example. Assuming it ran <laughs> of a car, you need some tires, a tad bit of cosmetic work, and a little bit of interior cleaning. So long as it runs and the miles aren't like 300,000, this could be a nice cheap car for an A to B. Nice cheap flip car to make a little bit of money on. With that said, I don't think that you'll ever get the smell out of this car. I don't think the smell will ever come out of this car. I wanted to show you the whole package tray, dead flies all over it. I, I mean, they're just, they're dead flies everywhere. I'm telling you. Maybe somebody's groceries. I hope to God it's groceries in this trunk. I'm not going to find out. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm done. That's a wrap for this video. Thank you for watching. I want to apologize for the, the hacking. I, I've been debating should I just cut all that out, but I think maybe it's entertaining to some of you. So we'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and leave it in. I really do appreciate it. Each and every one of you for taking time to watch my videos. <clears throat> if you enjoyed the content, hit the thumbs up button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Till next time, stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.